Hi guys and welcome back for another video here at Ricky's Vape Spot. Today we'll be taking a look at the second part of our Journey e-liquids uh, made by Aeon. Today we'll be looking at tobacco flavors. So I know it's been quite some time uh, since my last video uh, for those liquids and that's mainly because I've been really kind of sick and my nose was running constantly and I wasn't really able to do any reviews and I'm still kind of sick but um, I guess I, I can do it now. I just want to get out a few videos before the end of this year and um, yeah. So uh, I have those tester bottles here. Those are going to be six flavors, six new flavors from uh, Journey. And as I said in my last video, those are actually creation liquids um, made by a company Aeon here in, in, in Zagreb. And you can find them at aeon.hr. I will leave all the links down in the description box below. So today we'll be looking at tobacco flavors and I'm actually pretty excited about those because I've been doing some tobacco flavors lately, mainly in my uh, K-Fun Mini here as mouth to lung vaping. Um, but yeah, today I have my tugboat ready. I have it wicked and set up with a dual clapton coil. And I know that, <laughs> that they actually told me one of those liquids was a higher uh, nick content. So if I die somewhere along the way, just, just hang on, I, I will get back somehow. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, so let's dive right in and uh, get this review started. Okay, and first up we have uh, Chamberlain. I think those are all three milligrams of Nick. Let me just shake it up for a smell test. I haven't tried any of these. I just wanted to have a fresh sense of. So let's check it out. The tobacco I get from it is actually pretty mild. They do say it's very aromatic and intense sweet tobacco flavor. From the smell at least I get it really... I get some bright leaves smells and maybe some some darker notes of, of chocolate-ish something like in the smell. But that could be my, my sick nose so um, yeah let's drop a few drops here. Let's have a first vape of Chamberlain. Okay, as they say, this is definitely a sweet uh, tobacco flavor. It's actually really mild uh, on the same note as the other flavors that I had from Journey before. It is pretty aromatic and intense. It does definitely have this nice note to it. Maybe even something like sweet pipe tobacco, but it's it's so weird because it's not even, um, when you think of tobacco vapes you think like those type of harsh tobacco notes and this is not it at all. This is actually really, it's a really nice flavor. Somewhat dry and my nose is still kind of not working. 100% so I'm not really able to get pick up all the notes but this is definitely a really nice vape. So if you're into tobaccos and you like those more mellow type of, of, of tobacco flavors this is definitely good uh, and I could see myself vaping this on a regular basis. It's, it's a really nice liquid. So Chamberlain from uh, Journey. Let me just have another vape. It's really nice. 
almost it's like the, the tobacco leaves are coming out of it, so it's really enjoyed this a lot. Definitely check it out. Um, let me just clean out my tugboat and we'll be back with the second liquid. Okay guys, and we're back with the second liquid. Uh, this time it's Schrödinger's liquid. Schrödinger. Uh, and judging by this color, this might be the one with higher nick. Um, but nevertheless, let's give it a smell test and have a vape. For Schrödinger, they say it's extremely complex dark tobacco leaves with notes of nuts and creamy bitter coffee. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. I do definitely get this darker smell to it. Um, I know it's hard to say darker smell, but this darker feeling to this liquid. Uh, let me check it out. Let's hope this is not 18 milligrams or something like that. Um, so, Schrödinger. It's not. Although it is a little bit harder. It might be 12. This is really interesting. I wouldn't say I get the coffee up front. I do get this nice after smell to it. Really interesting. So again, as the whole line, not too sweet. Uh, you just get this um, nice tobacco-y taste. It's it's a lot darker than the the one before that we had Chamberlain, and it's really actually it's really really nice. I will definitely try this in my K Fun Mini. Really nice. <coughs> and I think this actually might be a higher nick level. I'm not really sure. Or the throat hit is just much more on this one than on the other ones. It's really actually hard to describe tobacco flavors because you have so many different types of tobaccos and this is definitely much more different than the Chamberlain that we had before but it's still a tobacco flavor um, but if you like tobacco flavors I would highly recommend to pick up Schrodinger because this is this is a really delicious liquid yep will definitely end up in my k -fun. I don't get that much nuts out of it, and I don't get that much bitter coffee out of it, as they say in the description. But again, that might be just to my being sick. Uh, but I definitely like this liquid. Yep, definitely go check it out. So um, nothing. Let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, let me just clean up my my atomizer, and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, and next up we have Spirit of the Woods. Let me just give this a smell test. Spirit of the Woods is said to be chocolate caramel cream complemented with mild vanilla rum, coconut and tobacco. So oh, I suppose it is the least of tobaccos in here, but we'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Definitely get this. I get the coconut right up on front. As well as some creamy and caramel notes. I'm not really, don't get the rum and don't get the tobacco. The coconut inside, as I do mixing myself, seems to me like some coconut extra, something like that. 
But let's try and give this a test. So, Spirit of the Woods, first fate. Really nice. I do get this uh, coconut, um, coconutty vape out of it, uh, but it's actually really nicely balanced with all the rest inside. I do get the dryness of the tobacco somewhere on the exhale, uh, and it's actually really complementing the whole vape. Hints of vanilla as well. It, it gives a little bit to, uh, to the sweet to the sweetness. And rum, I, I don't really get rum flavor out of it. I think it's it's more complementing with the, the, the coconuts that are inside. But it's really nice. This actually might be uh, the most aromatic of the three that I've tried out. Um, I get the most flavor out of this one. But it's definitely a nice and, and balanced vape. You, you, you get all the flavors, but they're really nicely mixed together and blended well. And I like the tobacco that's inside because um, it, when you vape it for the first time, it's not like in your face, this is a tobacco vape. Um, it plays more on this creamy to, um, creamy type of uh, vape with, with the vanilla and the caramel inside. Caramel, vanilla, tobaccos, really nicely blended together. If you kind of like this description, you should definitely give it a try. It's, it's really nice. Yep, that was Spirit of the Woods. Let's go on to the next one. Let me just clean up my atomizer here and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, and next up uh, we have Dark Water. And Dark Water is supposed to be aromatic Virginia tobacco leaves complement with sweet caramel notes and sweet dried plums. So, uh, sounds pretty interesting. Let's shake it up for a smell test. Okay, this, this definitely smells uh, Virginia tobacco-like. That's basically the only thing I get from smelling it okay let's drip it so let's have a first tape of dark water this is pretty interesting I never had dry plums for uh, as a vape, um, but it's definitely something is there that I'm not usually um, having a chance to vape. So, uh, but I do get the tobacco is definitely there up front. And with this something, it, it seems like some some dry fruit something. Um, but this is definitely really interesting. You know, usually those tobaccos are, are pretty in your face and, and all tobacco Asian and stuff. Those tobaccos are not one that I've tried. I, I couldn't see myself vaping uh, throughout the whole day. So this dark water is definitely something really nice. Pretty interesting as, as a vape itself. Um, it's dry, it's nicely balanced, you do get the, the, the Virginia tobacco out of it, like, in your face. Um, but the whole vape is, is kind of really nicely mellowed out and balanced, so this is... Not too sweet, you have, you have the dryness of the tobacco inside. Really nice. I have a zip of coffee. can easily be an all-day vape.
this gets a big plus for me too. So Dark Water, definitely go and check it out if you have a chance to. Um, really nice, really nice liquid. Uh, let me clean out my tugboat and we'll be on to the next one. And let's move on to the next one. The next one is Grandpa's Cream. And Grandpa's Cream is supposed to be rich tobacco flavor with caramel and vanilla. Um, sounds pretty much the same as caramel cream with mild vanilla rum coconut. But nah, I guess there is no coconut inside. No rum, so let's shake it up for a smell test. Okay, this is, uh, this is more definitely rich tobacco um, don't get anything else besides that pretty nice let's give it a try have first aid this is definitely the most tobacco-y flavor uh, out of them all that I've tried so far um, with the richness of the tobacco inside. What I really like uh, in this one you definitely feel the tobacco there but it's a nice and smooth vape. It's nothing that's too sweet inside of this one. The caramel and the vanilla play nice with it as well. Um, I wouldn't say there's any caramel or vanilla up front in your face from this vape. It's more this tobacco flavor. Um, but definitely it's complementing. Something there in the back is kind of helping this whole tobacco flavor to shine. And I think the caramel and the vanilla are really, really nicely blended in. The vape itself is pretty dry. Um, when I first smelled it, I thought it's gonna be more of, of this uh, sweet experience vape. But no, this one is, again, uh, as with the same journey line, it's right there uh, with the rest of the flavors. Not too sweet. It has this dryness, but also has the smoothness to the vape. So, really liking this one. Definitely go and check it out. Um, if you're not into uh, coconuts and, and stuff, uh, as I think it was the Spirit of the Woods, um, definitely try this one. Really nice tobacco flavor, uh, really rich tobacco inside. Pretty good. So, uh, that was Grandpa's Cream. Let's go on to the last one for today. Let me just clean out my atomizer and I'll be right back. Okay, and the last one today is going to be French Cider. And this is a juicy sour apple with sweet tobacco, slightly sweet tobacco flavor inside. So this one kind of does stand out uh, of the rest of the bunch here because it does have some, some fruits, some fresh fruits inside. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Let's give it a smell test. If I can open the bottle. Mm -hmm, definitely get the, the, the freshness of the apple inside. And I do get this um, leafy tobacco uh, smell to it. It's definitely not only sour apple, you do get this tobacco smell uh, to it. Let me try and test it out. And as I said, my nose isn't really functioning that well, so I might be mistaken. But um, that's what I get out of it. So, first vape of French cider. Really nice. As they say, it, it does it does taste more something like a, a apple uh, apple juicy ciderish thing. Um, it, it's not like the fresh apple in front. Um, it's more, as they say, like an apple cider, but with definitely with with those um, tobacco notes uh, complementing the whole vape. And I would definitely say it's more of a tobacco-y vape than it is an apple cider vape. So the apple is definitely there, and the tobacco just plays along really, really nicely. And if I was supposed to 
describe this vape in a few words, it would be um, fresh but smooth tobacco. It's it's a vape that, on one hand, it's dry, but on the other hand, it gives you something of those fruity notes that kind of makes the vape much easier on you if you understand what I want to say. It's definitely a fresh vape. It's definitely a tobacco vape, and combining those two might might even seem a little bit impossible, but they've done a really nice job on this one. Really liking this one a lot as well. What I can say so far about this whole line of, of Journey liquids, in the first part of my review I've been trying out all those creamy dessert bakery type of vapes, and now we've moved on to tobaccos, and what I really can say about this whole line is that they are First of all, they're all really smooth vapes. None of those do stand out in terms of sweetness. So th there's not any sweeteners and that's one thing that they even mention on, on their website and uh, as I was talking to them. And all of them can easily be all day vapes simply because, because none of those flavors are directly hitting you in your face. All of them are really nicely balanced out and really smooth. So. What I can say about the Journey e-liquid so far that I've tried, yes, some some you like more, some you like less. Um, given the tobacco ones that I've tried today, uh, I really have to say that I I kind of like them all. Seriously, um, maybe the ones that would uh, stand out for me would be Schrödinger. I kind of do like the dark water, uh, Grandpa's cream is really nice and the french cider as well so I, I really like them all uh, if I had to choose I would choose probably those three or four ones too as my all-day vape but really if you're into tobacco flavors give Journey a try because they really all of them are um, really nicely blended together and really nice vapes I think that's about it for today. Uh, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. I'll be back with the third part of the Journey Liquids pretty soon. Uh, I need to get my hand of one, on one more bottle because um, I didn't get all of them. So I think in the next one there's gonna be like seven liquids or so and mainly they're gonna be a bunch of liquids that I couldn't put into any uh, category, so there's gonna be probably some mentalish liquids there and some fruity liquids. So we'll see how that one goes. As of now, those liquids that I've tried are all really, really awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you all a wonderful rest of the day. Let's keep on vaping, and I'll see you again pretty, pretty soon.